Hi, I'm Kayode Okikulu. Here's your channel's TV news update for June the 18th, 2020. The president has met with the service chiefs at the council chambers of the presidential villa Abuja. Although the agenda of the meeting has not been made known, there has been condemnation over the rise in insecurity in parts of the country, especially the northwest. Moving on to the pandemic, COVID-19 cases are still on the rise in the country with the NCDC announcing 587 new patients yesterday, one of the highest daily infections. It brings the total number of confirmed cases to 17,735 with 5,967 people discharged and 469 dead. Here's a breakdown of the figures. In Kaduna State, the residents may have to brace for another round of lockdown in the face of rising cases of COVID-19 in the state. Governor Nasir El Rufai gave this indication while commissioning a mobile testing laboratory for community testing of COVID-19 cases. The Gen Expert Laboratory, which was donated by USAID, is fully equipped with vital testing instruments and has testing capacity of up to 400 tests daily. On the international scene, Burundi's newly elected president, Evariste Ndiaye has been sworn in two months earlier than scheduled. The Histon ceremony comes after his predecessor, Pierre Nkurunziza, died suddenly last week. Mr. Ndiaye is a former rebel leader like Mr. Nkurunziza. And in sports, Chelsea have announced the £53 million deal for Red Bull Leipzig striker, Timo Werner. Frank Lampard has been desperate to bolster his attacking options and has landed Werner, one of the finest strikers in Europe. The German international, who has two games left to play with Leipzig, has signed a five-year deal worth £175,000 a week. And that's the news update. Don't forget to join us later for the recap. I am Kaya Okikulu. Thank you for watching.